Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'm going to start as this was the homework for you all. I'll just uh, ask with a few names uh, whether you can uh, just frame the equation for uh, loop one or loop two like this. So I just thought of uh, asking you people uh, whether you can do it yourself or not. Okay. So the first uh, I'll just call uh, Manthan. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell me uh, the, the equation for loop one? For, for loop one, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Nine i one plus four i two is equal to ten. Good. Uh, you have already solved it, and uh, right? Yes. Okay. Have you got the answers of i one and i two? Means in home, if you have calculated, uh, have you got the answers? No, ma'am. Only okay. equations I have got. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay, next I'll just ask um, Girish, are you there? Girish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, for uh, loop two, the second loop, uh, I two, you can see. Uh, can you tell the equation? You can frame it now also. If you have not done it in homework, you can just frame the equation and uh, tell me only the equation part. Are you there, Girish? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you take your time and you tell. For loop two. Sorry, ma'am, I don't know. You can frame now. It is no uh, issue that. Uh, what uh, What is the rule of KVL? You just uh, tell. You will st you have to start with which one in loop two you can see the second loop there is ten volt okay then there is six ohm resistance then there is eight ohm resistance and then there is four ohm resistance one after another so if you apply KVL what is the rule the summation of all the EMFs must be zero so you can go by that way. Can you tell it? Okay. So uh, anyway, next I'll ask uh, Sahil. Sahil Sheikh, are you there? Sahil? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you tell the equation for uh, loop two? Yes, ma'am. Minus sixteen I two. Minus sixteen I two. Okay. Then. Is equal to ten. Equals to ten. Where will I one go? See, I have told you that. Whenever you are doing one loop, that loop should be covering the EMFs. So the EMFs, when you are going for the branch current, means the branch of where 10 volt and 4 ohm is connected to each other. There the current you are calculating, that will be I2 minus I1 or I2 plus I1, depending upon the direction. So both I1 and I2 are going upwards only in that branch. So there will be plus I2 plus I1. Okay. Okay. Okay, next I'll ask. Um, let me ask the girls. Bhumika, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you tell me the equation for loop 2? 
minus eighteen i two. Okay. Yes. Then plus four i one equal to ten. Very good. Very good. Actually, it will be plus, but uh, at least you have uh, told it correctly. Only the uh, signs are a bit uh, different. I'll show you that. Very good. Okay. So for loop one and loop two, for this problem, I'm not uh, asking any more. This is the solution. You can tally the equations with this. I have solved it entirely uh, because. Uh, to make you understand actually see for loop 1 specially i am telling to girish and sahil okay i am telling you because you see the loop equations for loop 1 for the first loop what is happening we are starting from 10 volt to anti clockwise direction so we are taking first 10 volt active source so 10 is plus so minus we are doing from that as we are going to the passive elements traversing in the anti clockwise direction after 10 volt it comes 2 ohm so minus 2 i1 then minus 3 i1 minus 4 is there that is the branch current 4 ohm so 4 multiplied by i1 plus i2 here both it is plus because both of them are going both the currents i1 and i2 are going upwards in that branch the arrow is upwards in that branch of 4 ohm both if you see then the arrow or the current flow is in the upward direction that is why it is i1 plus i2 had it been opposite direction it would have been i1 minus i2 equals to 0 so this is the first loop equation do you understand girish yes ma'am Yes. No. Uh, you say if I give you any random other network, you should be able to do right. So that is why uh, this equation is formed like this. That you are basically multiply the current and the resistance to get I N R. That is the voltage drop. So apart from the active element, ten volt which is given, you are subtracting from ten all the I Rs. Means two into I one, three into I one, like that. You are doing. And the summation, algebraic summation, is equals to zero. Okay, so that forms equation one for loop two, second loop. The same thing for loop two. You can see that for loop two, the equation is ten minus six i two minus eight i two minus four into i two plus i one equals to zero. Now here also i two plus i one because again for this. Uh, loop also, if you see, I two and I one is in the same direction it is traveling. So four into I two plus I one equals to zero. Now uh, I am uh, asking Sahil, do you understand? Yes, Miss. Why uh, you were taking only I two and I am taking uh, talking about the branch uh, of four ohm when you are traveling upwards you see both the currents in the same direction I one and I two so for that branch in that loop the current will be minus four into I two plus I one equals to zero so while traversing from uh, clockwise direction in the second loop it is first coming ten volt. I, you can take from six ohm also because I want to start from the active element. That is why I am traveling like that. So ten minus six I two minus eight I two. Then comes the four ohm resistance, which is in the branch, uh, which is being divided both by I one and I two. So that is why minus four into I two plus I one equals to zero. Everyone getting this? The equations. Framing the equations. Okay, I am asking everyone. No one uh, should uh, like that. That you are not understanding. Because if you are not understanding, then tell me. You ask me. I'll always there to answer you. But uh, don't uh, just keep silent if you don't understand. Okay. So this is about your. Framing the equations part. Now coming to the calculation part. Those who have done it is okay. Uh, you see, uh, minor uh, mistakes in plus and minus can change the answers. So the equation should be done correctly. And as per the sign convention, okay. Did everyone understand about the uh, plus and minus signs? Why it is being taken like this? Any question regarding that? 
you see the equations and you see that how plus and minus signs are being there everyone understood the signs means the equation why it is uh, like that if not you can ask me okay fine so you can ask me later also if you feel that you want to ask separately then also you are free just feel free to ask okay fine uh, now coming to the answers part i have solved the two equations by multiply equation 1 with 9 and equation 2 with 2 to bring it in the same condition so that i want to eliminate or cancel the equation here and find out i'm cancelling or eliminating i2 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 cancel then uh, i1 i'm finding it out and i1 is coming as this almost equal to 0.96 ampere and you put the value into i2 then you get i2 equals to 0.34246 ampere is it clear to everyone am i audible Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can take down this problem. Number one. Number two is that is it clear to all? You see whether the problem is clear or not. Any questions, anyone? have you taken down the problem those who have not done please take down the problem understandable to everyone please respond yes ma'am yes ma'am okay Connected. Yes, yes. Please uh, tell. Someone asked something. Any questions? Please ask. Okay. So. Uh, i'll just move on to the next problem is this problem taken down by everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am everyone took down this problem yes ma'am fine so i am going to the next problem okay so this is the next problem and uh, for this uh, has anyone tried out this problem ma'am i only tried out this circuit but i am not so, sure sure whether the direction of a current is right or wrong direction of current is already given in the problem but polarity is you are talking about sign conventions now plus yes, minus yes, yes. Yes. okay okay no problem no issues that is that is why i am clearing out na no problem you uh, this is rahul i hope yes ma'am okay fine so okay, just you tell me roughly uh, for equation uh, or sorry for loop uh, second loop i2 can you tell me the equation One minute, ma'am. Yes, sure. Take your time.
कैन आई मैम यस श्योर वट इज योर नेम अक्षता अक्षता यस ट्राई अक्षता प्लीज फोर आई प्लस एटीन आई टू प्लस नाइन आई थ्री इजिक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव uh you are quite correct means 4 i1 is correct then comes uh, 18 i2 is also correct then for the i3 there is a slight uh, mistake that is okay that is fine at least you have tried But it is 6 uh, yes. i3 uh, no actually it is 3 uh, 3 i3 right right 3 i3 right so uh, anyway no problem no issues you have tried that is enough very good very very good so i'll just tell you without seeing the um, equations only consider for loop 1 i mean for loop 1 the first equation i'm telling i'm not telling the last final expression but the total uh, what it should be that i'm telling you okay for loop 1 just concentrate on loop 1 forget about 2 and 3 okay just see the loop 1 first loop so there we start from 65 So for loop one, sixty-five is coming first, minus I'm just taking minus, then coming uh, as per the direction of the current, then it is coming the twenty ohm resistance. So sixty-five minus twenty ohm resistance into I one the current. Okay, then minus again it is coming next is the four ohm resistance. Now four ohm is again a branch. that is shared by i1 and i2 means the second loop and first loop it is shared so 4 multiplied by the current that will flow see both are in the same direction means both are going downwards i1 and i2 so it will be plus so we will write uh, till now the expression was 65 minus 20 i1 now it is coming minus 4 in bracket i1 plus i2 the total current okay then again minus then 6 it is coming 6 multiplied by i1 plus i3 because here again i1 and i3 flows in the same direction okay so equals to 0 so this was for loop 1 i'll just show you for loop 1 equation this is the loop 1 equation you see as i told you first is 65 then it is coming minus 20 because 20 ohm is there and it is uh, going in this direction means uh, a passive element so minus 20 i1 then the in the loop uh, first loop there is 4 ohm resistance coming next so 4 ohm and the current 4 ohm is uh, should be addition or subtraction since both i1 and i2 is going downwards in 4 ohm resistance it will be i1 plus i2 then again minus 6 again in bracket i1 and i3 is in the same direction that is from it is flowing from through 6 ohm resistance you see i1 is also flowing from uh, left to right and i3 is also flowing from left to right in 6 ohm resistance so that will again be minus 6 Into I one plus I three equals to zero. Everyone understood the first loop? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so I'll ask uh, whom should I ask next? Um, I don't know the entire names also. Okay, Uma is there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell uh, the equation? For uh, loop two again, for loop two. Yes, ma'am. I I have not uh, missed. Uh, you have not uh, done it. Have you solved or uh, you can frame it now also? You can take your time and frame just the equation for loop two. Yes, ma'am. Is it possible? Can you do? just try out
मैम आई गेट द इक्वेशन ऑफ लूप टू ओके फॉर नाउ जस्ट वेट लेट लेट अस सी वेदर उमा कैन आंसर देन वी आई गो गो टू यू श्योर मैम Uma, can you answer? I am framing, ma'am. Uh, you have framed. I am. Wait, ma'am. I am. Sure, sure. Take your time. Take your time. Ma'am, can I? Who is this? Girish, ma'am. Girish. Okay. Um, just wait a bit. I am just waiting for Uma. Okay, ma'am. Uma, will you try? Ma'am, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Tell. Ma'am, seventy-five uh, is equal to fifteen mm-hmm. i two, fifteen i two, three i four, three i one, i three plus four i two, ma'am. Just tell me once again. Seventy-five equals to. Fifteen i four plus three i three. Plus four i two. Hmm. I think calculation error is there. You tell me the first one, not the final expression. What you have written in the first form that you tell means I am asking you seventy five minus. If there is i one plus i two expression also, no problem. You tell me the first equation. Just framing the equation first one. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there is minus eleven i two. Yes. 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 Uh, Minus four into i one plus i two. Right, absolutely. And then minus three into i three minus i four. I have to. I four is not there. There is only i one, i two, i three, na. Mom, through six ohm, I have took the current as i four, mom. Ah, uh, but uh, six ohm. There is only uh, three loops, na. So three currents are possible. Same current is going only. You don't need to take another current. Here I two we can take mom through six ohm. Six ohm. I two. Here junction mm-hmm. then mom so I have took that as I four. I understood, but uh, anyway that was not needed because uh, uh, if you have suppose if you take I four, I four must be equal to yeah. something right. If you take I four, I four is equals to either sum of I two I three or sum of I one I two or Difference of I one I two that should be there, because if you introduced yeah. another I four or something else, then how will you solve the equations? Means you have three equations, three variables. If another variable comes in, then there is uh, no way of solving right the equations. Anyway, you did the per- first part uh, perfectly. It will be minus eleven I two minus four I two plus I one in bracket, and then it will be yes. minus. Uh, what you told is uh, six into what you told. Just tell me. Minus three into I three minus I four. Mm. No, that is actually minus three into I two minus I three. I two minus I three. Because the loop that you are considering, that is I two, we are considered with I two. So minus will be from I two. I two will be coming first. Minus the adjacent loop. Yes. That is I three. Yes. Okay. Because yes. three ohm three ohm resistance is connected between third loop and second loop. So I two minus I three yes. equals to zero. Okay. And very good. Yes. Yes. Try. Good try. Very good try. Fine. So yes. Now uh, Girish, just tell me what it is coming. You did, na? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Just tell me the expression. Ma'am, first step solution or last step solution, ma'am? Last step, if you would have done just uh, last step, you can say. Ma'am, I mean, in first step, uh, I minus the uh, six I two, ma'am. Last. Six I two. The expression you are telling, right? For equation yes, two, loop two, loop two final yes, expression is. Uh, uh, you tell the final expression of loop two. What is it? 
24 i2 hmm plus 4 i1 okay plus 3 i3 is equal to 74 okay everything was correct except the i2 part means it is 4 i1 and minus 3 again some calculation error must be there no problem no issue uh, i'll show you for loop 2 what it is okay okay, okay um, rahul was saying something rahul have you done yes ma'am yes it's done i think you know, the equation is 11 i2 plus hmm. 4 into i1 plus i2 plus right. 3 into i2 minus i3 and Perfect. then minus 6 i2 is equal to 75 mm, no only the minus 6 i2 will not be there uh, where uh, why this confusion is coming can you just clear uh, where from you have uh, written this minus 6 part Ma'am, I uh, look as you look in the uh, loop three, I three loop. So the current mm. is I three is coming, and as we mm. know that uh, the upper upper current is I three minus I two, right? For loop, which loop you are telling? I three or I two? Through th- three ohm, three ohm resistance. Three ohm resistance, which is between I three and I two. Yes. Yes, yes. Tell. So. Uh, So the I three is coming uh, away from that junction point. So I minus I three from I three minus I two, and I only get the minus I two. That's why I write six. Uh, the I two, minus I two with six ohm. Okay. Okay. M twenty two I two minus three I three plus four I one is equal to seventy five. Hmm. Correct. Correct. Okay, I'll just show it. Uh, wait, before that, I have something. There is a difference actually between the scanned copy and uh, the copy which I have one. So I like to introduce something. Anyway, your your equation framing is uh, correct. Now, uh, for loop three, we are coming. Okay, for loop three, we are coming. So for loop three, you see. There will be this. Um, can anyone frame for loop three what the equation will be? Anyone like to try? Miss, can I? Yes, sure. Who is uh, who is this? Kadambari. Very good. Try. I would love if everyone participate. I always encourage this everyone to do. So if you can please participate it. Yes, Kadambari, tell. Miss two i three. Yes. Minus three into i three minus i two. Perfect. Minus six i two hmm. plus i one is equals to zero. Hmm. There, there only is the problem. The last part. You see, first you told two i three, right? Yes, Miss. Yes. Now you see for loop three, forget everything else. Loop one, loop two, forget. Loop three, concentrate. Okay. So for only loop three, you see there is first of all there is no active element. There is no voltage source in loop three. There is only resistances. So there, uh, you can start from this side or this side, whichever side you want. Uh, if you have taken two ohm first, well and good. So uh, here. the currents uh, generally what happens v minus i r equals to 0 that we take now as there is no v here voltage source here then there becomes zero in voltage source so minus i r is there summation of all minus i r so all will be minus i r minus 2 into i3 minus 3 into i3 minus i2 minus again 6 into the last part what you told Just tell me. I two, I two plus I one. There only lies the thing. You see six ohm. You see the six ohm between uh, I one and I three. Six ohm is between the resistance I one and I three, right? Yes. In in loop three, uh, I am telling you, don't look at other places. Only uh, this loop three, six ohm is shared between I one and I two. I three, sorry, I one and I three. Yes. In loop three, right? So the currents will be only I one and I three, because six ohm in the third loop is shared between I one and I three. And did you understand? 
Yes, miss. Is it clear? Means the equation for loop three will be this one. Just uh, see whether you are getting this equation or not. Everyone, I am telling. Everyone getting this equation or understanding why it is happening? You see, there is no voltage source. So V minus I R the equation, summation of V and summation of I R. V minus I R is equals to the zero that we took. Here there is no V. Okay, so minus I R summation you have. So I have taken all the three terms as minus two I three, minus three into uh, I three minus I two, and minus six into I three plus I one. Now why is that? You see, I three. I three the in the loop uh, third loop I three uh, the six ohm resistance is between shared between I one and I three and three ohm resistance is shared between I two and I three so three ohm resistance as it is shared between I two and I three the uh, multiplying term will be I three minus I two because they are in the opposite direction that's why minus and Since in the same direction I one uh, and I three is there, so it will be I three plus I one. Everyone got it? Please tell me. Yes, ask, ask me in case of any confusion. Please feel free to ask. Everyone, I am telling you. Okay, just feel free. And any question, any problem, you ask me. Raise the question to me. Okay, everyone. Everyone, I think, uh, have you taken down the problem? Okay. So you can write down the answers and you can uh, solve and check whether this answer is coming or not. These are the answers. Ma'am, can you show the equation for loop two? Loop two, there is a slight change actually. You see, this is the equation for loop two. The answers are right, but in loop two, there will be addition one more term, that is uh, minus six i two. It will be introduced. One okay. addition term will be there, minus six i two. Except that all are okay. so i'll just uh, i'll i'll show you after i uh, put it uh, in the group the document so for now you see the exact uh, corrected problem i'll show you for now uh, the equations will be framed like this i hope you understood the equation now i'll go to the third one okay this can be also solved by a different direction of current that i have uh, done means uh, the same problem Uh, if we took everything clockwise, all the directions clockwise, then the solution would have been like this. This also I'll share you because I have done the solution in both the ways. Means of uh, uh, taking all the loop currents in the clockwise direction, and in the previous problem there were two in anti-clockwise and uh, loop one in clockwise direction. So this also. Uh, you can check yourself by framing the equations. Equations will be definitely different from each other. So, yeah, yes. In that direction, we can take any how we want, no? Like clockwise and anti-clockwise. Yeah, exactly. That only I am saying that if the problem there is no di given direction in the question paper, if there is no direction given, then you can take uh, up to you. Okay, it's up to you. Yes, But if it is not provided in the problem, means already it is given in the problem, then you can't uh, do it in your uh, type. Okay. Okay. So everyone, um, uh, the third or the last problem that I gave you, uh, we will go on to that. So here. 
i am already showing you the loop one equation everyone please be uh, careful that uh, loop one equation i am already showing you on purpose to show what why we are considering like this see uh, i1 i2 i3 first um, from left to right if i go the leftest loop is i1 the middle loop is i2 the third loop is i3 or the third loop current is i3 like this i have taken so uh, if we frame the equation the first loop equation is given you see it forms like this so 0.2 i1 plus i1 minus i2 because uh, difference in the branch current of 3.75 ohm the current will be i1 minus i2 because they are in the opposite directions okay and multiplied by 3.75 which is the branch resistance equals to 120 here i have taken like this means the equation i have written like this you can also write 120 minus 0.21 i1 minus uh, 3.75 i1 minus i2 this also you can write so i have framed the equation like this so now i'll call someone for just telling me the equation 2 okay um Ma'am, actually the maths class is started already. Oh, started. Yeah, okay, I'm very sorry. Fine, yes, fine, fine. You can join now. Ah, uh, you can leave this class. You can leave the class and you can join everyone. Okay. Thank you. Everyone can join the maths class. I am leaving this class now. Thank you.